I think when I was younger, I felt a really uh, strong connection to making things, and it was a way to sort of um, change my trajectory and sort of change my experience of being somewhere that I was unhappy, but being able to control how I interacted through the world. And working within sort of a very traditional medium was a way also for me to express my Latinidad and my Peruvianness. Textiles are such a really important part of that culture, but they also are a really important part to the United States, and so it was a way for me to really exist in both worlds, but also be me. My name is Sarah Zapata. I am an artist and writer. Certainly textiles are an important part of um, Peruvian culture, but specifically to my family. So um, my father is from Piura, which is like a small northern coastal town in Peru. And my grandfather was a textile salesman there. So um, again, I think it was a way where I felt like I could participate within um, my history, but also be really in control of that narrative. And textiles really are such a rich medium, and I like to think of them as a process and as a material. So though I make these textiles, they're continuing to transform into something else. It's important to really use these like ubiquitous and very easily attainable materials to create these like very large sort of fantastical works as a way, again, to talk about working with one circumstance to create a different sort of reality through your mind, through creativity, through research. As queer people, specifically Latinx queer people, we're sort of always um, trying to think in futurity and create these sort of imagined time because that's our job as queer people is to like push things forward. These identities, that's what we're always trying to imagine is a better world, a better community for us through our work and creating these like communal spaces. Though it is abstract, though it exists as something else and it it operates on sort of this like very beautiful standpoint. I, I want that beauty to sort of be the entrance point and never just the takeaway. And so research and activation is a way really to take the work further and really explain every intentionality that exists with the work. I like to think, you know, we're sort of dropped in the middle of time and it's, it's very interesting and powerful to really understand who came before you and why we're sort of existing within these circumstances that we are. And research is like such an exciting and interesting way to understand that. Certainly, we're at a very interesting juncture where there's so much information available on the internet, which is amazing and also very powerful. Though it also is like very revisionist in this strange way, and there's so much information that only exists within sort of these like texts. And so I think it's important to really like dig into books as well as um, obviously internet research. Abstraction is really, for me, it's so much about fantasy and, and fantasy within this way of reimagining, again, one's circumstances. So I think abstraction is, again, a way for the, it to exist within the sort of in-between space. And I'm really interested in existing on different planes of time or culture or materials even.